So today's episode is going to be kind of the same again, even though I got to be honest, I uh, heavily enjoy recording and just getting done other things while I'm doing so, because I don't know, like I just really feel productive. I feel good. And that's amazing. I appreciate that. I really, really, really do. Um, but yeah, um, Let's hop on to something pretty quickly on my Reddit page. So we'll see. Star Trek, the next generation. This scene in which two androids discuss the perceived futility of chasing perfection always stuck with me. Well, perfection is just something that is not existent. You know? It's not there. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. And I've seen it in, in so many different ways. Um, in terms of body composition, I mean, I've been really lean and, you know, while being able to hold quite some muscle and I, <laughs> I, I wasn't satisfied with it at all, you know, I felt pretty good, but obviously there's also downsides of that, you know, downsides of just having a relatively low body fat percentage. Once you kind of um, fuck up and whatnot, you're gonna see the change and you're gonna, you know, have a difference quite immediately. On the other hand, you have to be quite restrictive with your diet, can't do this, can't do that, yada, yada, yada. In the end, it's like, um, if you can do it long term, do it long term. You know, I don't want to be like, whoa, you know, this is just um, not possible you, nobody's able to do so, blah, blah, blah. That's just totally not the case, you know. Some people can. It also depends on your resources, if you can afford it, and so on, obviously. Um, but uh, perfection is not there. Perfection really is not there. And once you have experienced it yourself, you are for sure, um, and hopefully, going to change something about that. And at this point of time, I... Just do want to feel good and look quite good, you know. Don't need to just look amazing and, and, and whatnot. Of course, I do want to have a proper body composition. But um, I know that I'm not going to be perfect, you know. Just maybe doing, um, well, making progress, not doing progress, but making progress in, in different ways like strength and skills and, and these things, you know, this is something objective that you can see. Well, okay, today I've done this 10 times and when I'm able to do the next time 20 times, then I know that I've gained strength or at least endurance and so on and so forth. You know, this makes more sense at this point for me, but especially skills, you know, not necessarily strength, even though it kind of is included in there, but, um, you know, being able to, to perform certain things body weight wise and, and yeah. Of course, as I said, I want to look good. I'm not going to neglect that. But I know and I've figured out and I've seen that um, I'm never quite going to be, you know, satisfied. Might be at least 100% satisfied. Let's put it like this, you know. Because obviously when I've been that lean, I really, um, you know, was also feeling quite good about that. And so on and so forth. Spending my birthday alone. So it is my birthday today and I've been suffering from loneliness and depression for the past few years. Last year, only my mom and sister wished me a happy birthday. No one else remembered. I don't really want to acknowledge my birthday because they usually just made me feel sad. This year, I decided to fuck that. I'm taking a weekend off work and treating myself. Today, I'm going for steak and then a massage. Tomorrow, I'm going wake surfing and paragliding, which is amazing. It is up to me and only me to make it happy and wholesome. Happy birthday to me. Edit, thank you so much for the birthday wishes, each and every one of you. This is probably the most I've ever had. Um, first of all, certain Reddit communities are so amazing um, in terms of how much they can help you, how much people actually go out of their way to, to also do so and you know really try to help people. It is insane and it really makes me happy and it really makes me see the good in, uh, well, humanity. I guess, which I think you're not seeing too often, I guess, but I want to underline too often, but yeah, I think, and it is something that I've realized 
to well might have been yesterday maybe also today maybe just been a whole month or whatever and a lot of things are just up to you you know if you feel good about yourself if you feel good about your days then it is a good day and you can be happy but if you don't it's it's not going to be a good day you know it really is up to our perception and it really is up to our opinion and how we how we view things period and it is incredible if you kind of understand it and get it and um well know the strength that that you're quite having by the way have i done this yesterday kind of a feeling that i didn't do that <laughs> and i was also wondering like you know i really have a lot of time i wonder if i did everything that i did or should have done but no nah, yeah i fucked up again hmm. anyway it is what it is you know in, in recent times i really do fuck up quite quite a ton in terms of um the podcast and whatnot like um i forget about uploading it not about the youtube video don't do so never ever quite i think once or something but um yeah it is fine it is what it is anyway so yeah but i yeah yeah it's not that well i'm, I'm gonna publish that now so that it is out of my way and this is also something like this bothering me and this kind of affecting me is up to me if i let it and this is also the case for so many things so many things that could be bothering you and or maybe just not so many things that um could make you feel pain could make you feel hurt this is something we choose in the end we choose to feel hurt by certain things you know Obviously, and you know, this is an example that I like to, to bring up when somebody dies and, and or something tragic happens, it is okay to feel bad and it is okay to cry and grieve and whatnot. And I don't want to be like, okay, you know, just choose not to do so and, and you're not going to do so. But sometimes it just feels also great to grieve and be sad and, and let your emotions go and not restrict yourself in, in this manner as well. Um, it is difficult, it, it really is, and I've kind of not been able yet to figure out a balance between, okay, I choose not to feel bad because, um, I mean, it is making me feel bad, you know, feeling bad is feeling bad at the end, but um, on the other hand, kind of just not feeling bad because, uh, or feeling bad because I sometimes also want to just feel bad, and feel the grief and feel the pain but but I don't know like it is really difficult because when is the point where things get too much you know when is the point where one has to admit that okay it is actually a depression you know I am depressive or depressed or whatever you know because there probably is a point I don't know the definition of depression uh have I fucked up? No, I haven't. Fortunately, I didn't. Um, anyway, one last thing, probably. I am a shithole. I am a shithole. I'm feeling really shitty about myself right now. I feel that I have no skills. I suck at communication, writing, reading. I don't know anything. I'm so dumb. I'm just jealous of other people who are doing what I always wanted to do. I've read almost every self-help book, but nothing seems to seems to helping me. Sometimes I feel so good about myself, feel pumped up that I'm actually doing good, getting good grades, but then I see other kids of my age who are as much, who are so much funnier, wittier and knowledgeable than me. I live in a remote Indian village, didn't really have much exposure till I stepped into the capital city for my graduation, but I found there that urban kids are so, so, so ahead of me. I'm just trying to be a part, to be at par with them. I'm a 20-year-old girl, I want to be a diplomat, preparing for this national exam, but the feeling that kids who are smarter than me will grab the seats, I don't speak as good as they do, I'm not able to articulate as good as they do, this feeling really makes 
in me, really making me feel so jealous of them, it's giving me an inferiority complex. Well, I got to be honest, you know, there, there's this, I, I don't want to be like, okay, you know, just don't think that badly, you know, you're probably really good and whatnot, like, no, maybe you're just really indeed shit at certain things, not at everything, you know, we all are good at something, we all are capable of doing certain things, I'm never going to be a basketball player, well, maybe basketball, yes, because I like it and I'm, um, you know, uh, quite decent at it, at least I've been in school, um, not competition-wise and yada, 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 but, um, like, I don't know, there are a ton of things that I'm never going to be, no, I'm never going to be a supermodel, you know, I don't have to look for it, in terms of my face, you know, never going to be a hair model, because my hairline is shit as fuck, because I'm getting fucking bald, it's 20, by the way, you know, just already seeing the, the corners of my head just balding out, and, um, but I'm also not, or never going to be, um, probably never going to be kind of a physicist or something, you know, or, or chemist, something that is just, just, I don't know, like, something you need to be really good at, uh, science, I guess, for, which, which I'm not necessarily too overwhelmingly good at, um, on the other side, uh, on the other hand or side or whatever, there's also some things that, I don't know, like, I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm not too good at, like, well, for the amount of time that I put into my body and, and working out and whatnot, I've had shitty progress, you know, some other people have made really way better progress than I did, and maybe will ever do, I don't know, you know, who knows, I, I've had some progress, but, you know, as I said, other people had more progress, and all progressed more than I did, so in the end, like, it's always going to be the case. And one has to really be honest with oneself about certain things. Like, I'm not going to be and never going to be just as good as, well, or as good at something so that I, you know, that I could be doing this as a professional. Of course, one really kind of work on certain things and probably outwork people. But, you know, when you meet a person that is very talented and also puts in a ton of work, then that's it, you know, that's it, you can't, you can't beat this person, this person has talent and work ethic, you can't beat this person, it is what it is, you know, it really is what it is, and on the other hand, one has to realize that we all are good at something, you know, some people are good at sports, certain sports, some people on the other hand are good at showing empathy, communicating with people, being liked, you know, being a likable person, this is also a fucking skill, you know, there are so many skills, it's not about the really quote-unquote big ones, it's just not about this and that and, and whatnot, like, there are so many things, so many things that, that one could focus on. I do want to end this episode with a quote, favorite excuse to me, question mark, tomorrow, now, a mystical land where 99% of all human productivity, motivation, and achievement is stored. <laughs> oh yeah, um, tomorrow I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. You know, tomorrow I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna have the motivation to do so now. Start today. The best thing that you can do is starting today. No matter to which degree, if it is gonna be the 100% do you wish you'd be able to do doesn't really matter, but start today. And yeah, go to see you next time. Bye-bye.